there's a new trend in graphic t-shirts that I've started seeing everywhere. I've been getting major ads for it. I've been seeing it all over Etsy. And some of my friends just sent me a bunch and decided this is gonna be a group costume of ours for an upcoming festival. So we're ordering 20 of them. And it's funny because this trend is a combination of two of the most popular trends on Etsy right now. I've looked up the keyword just shirt and using Everbe, I can see that this one right here for shirts is making over 3,000 sales a month. This one here is at almost 2,000 sales a month and their styles are extremely similar. It's these custom bootleg concert shirts that look very vintage. You're able to add in your own photos and with a really, really stylized name at the top. And then another recent trend that has really kicked up on Etsy, and I've talked about these before, is unhinged shirts. Things like this with really, really random sayings that are hilarious. Life is soup. I am fork. But lately I've started to see this unhinged meme trend start merging with the really popular bootleg concert trend. And by combining these two trends, we get shirts like this becoming bestsellers. And I think they're hilarious. They're really overdone graphics, usually with a really silly text to them, something that would just be ridiculous to wear outside. And again, me and my friends are ordering a bunch of these to wear at a festival because they're just hilarious. And it is funny, I've noticed in both of these trends, in both the unhinged meme trends, raccoons are super popular with these as well. So I'm seeing a lot of different ones featuring raccoons. Like this other bestseller right here, my pain is chronic, my blank, I don't know if I can say that, is iconic. There are many more bestsellers I could show you. They're not the most appropriate. It's not the most appropriate trend ever, but if you're into this unhinged humor, maybe it's something you want to do. But you might be thinking, this is way too complicated for me to create. Don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to create these the easy way. To make these, we're going to be using Kittle, which is a design platform, and scrolling down into their templates, what we're gonna do is we're going to type in the word bootleg. It took me a while to find out what name these were under, but under the name bootleg, if we scroll down, we see a lot of these crazy over-designed, crazy text effects that are really similar to what's going on within these trends. It's easy to go ahead and change them, but just pick one that you think you want to start with. So scrolling down, I'm usually just looking at the text effects and finding one for one I want to do. I really like this Freedom Embrace one. You can see there's a bunch of different options in here. But the one I think I'm going to start with is this one here. I like the text effects of this. Again, we can switch it up as we go. The first thing that I always do in Kittle is make sure that my file size is right. Because when you start from templates, it gives you different file sizes. So I just click on the top here and then we can see our width and height. And I'm just going to change these to 5,000 by 5,000. I always know that you should print well. It's a big enough file size. And then what I'm going to do, just to make sure everything fits is I'm going to drag over every element in this file and just bring it outwards. And then there we go. You can see that we have a bunch of background stuff, which is kind of distracting. So in your layers, which is at the bottom here, you can just go ahead and turn off the fabric texture and the textured background. It was just there to make the file look cool, but you don't actually want to print that. And then since I do want to print this on a black shirt, I'm just going to change the background of this file by clicking up here. And on the background color, I'm just going to make it black. So I've just gone and deleted the bottom piece here that I didn't really like. It was just like the date. Um, and now I'm going to start editing this to be my own and my own unhinged saying, I don't know where I got this from. It randomly popped in my head when I was doing this design, but was making a bread shirt called existential bread because I was trying to think of things along the terms of existential dread for this type of theme. And then I was like, wait, bread goes with this really well. And these types of just stupid sayings seem to do really well with these designs. So I've changed the top word and I'm going to copy this down by hitting command copy, command V for command paste. And then I'm going to drag down this copy. And then under the side here where we have transformation, I'm going to hit the arc. So we turn off of this arc and I'm gonna double click on it to change it to bread. And there we go, it's just hidden a little bit. And there we go. But now I need to change up this guy here because this doesn't match what I'm trying to create at all. So I'm gonna use AI, which I really love Kittle for, is using their, their AI tool to try to create my elements so that no one has these elements. It's not like a creative Fabrica element or anything. So one thing that I can do is by selecting this, one you can see if you select sometimes all these things are grouped. If you notice when you make a click, things are all grouped and it selects multiple things. Just right click and hit 
ungroup. So now I can actually select the lion here by itself. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit save as image gen style. And then I'm going to go and just delete him. And you can see we have many other elements over here. You can just move them to the side if you would like for now. But what the image gen style did was it saved it as a reference for when I create AI images. So what I can do is say create a loaf of bread in the style of what that tiger or lion, whatever that animal is, uh, obviously bad with my cats, but I can use that style and I'm gonna hit generate image to create one that's along the same line. And you know, often these work really well, but right now it is picking up too much that I want this to be a like animal face. So I'm actually not gonna use this gen style, but usually this does work. And instead what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to use this one here under clip art styles, I'm going to use detailed drawing. And here's what I got, which I think I can work with a lot better. I just need to make sure I am removing the background because we don't want backgrounds in our files here. And then I'm going to make a few different other variations of this bread. So here's where we've ended up. I like this look a whole lot more. I like that kittle seem to match my file a little bit and added this blue glow to the bread it made, which was pretty awesome that it picked that up. But one thing I need to do now is I just need to play with the background a little bit more because now my layers are all crazy. So we're going to go back down to our layers file over here or our layers panel. And now we're gonna start moving things around just to fix the layering of our file. So we can see these particles here are these little blue splashes. So I can grab them and just drag them down and then I can put them like underneath the bread. If you ever get confused, like here, what things are named. You can take a look at what they are. So this one here, an illustration image, is the baguette. And then you can double click this and rename it baguette. And then so you won't actually be confused because right now things are called illustrations. And now I'm gonna go find the lightnings. You can also select them. And once you select them, it will be highlighting. So these are called thunder eyes in here. And I'm going to just change these up and I'm going to move some of them behind the breads, some of them in front of the breads, just to give it this kind of like layered look to it. If you ever want to more add more elements to the background, you can keep creating AI things or what you can do as well is a lot of these like abstract looking things look really well in the backgrounds of these types of designs. So going on over to elements, we're gonna go to abstract. And if you scroll down, you're gonna see things like paint splatters. We're gonna see things like clouds, stars. We have these lightning bolts, which we've been using in our file right here. Or there's some more just down here. You can go through all these and find which ones work in the background for whatever design you are creating here. And then once you are happy with your design, what we're gonna do is we are going to go to download. We are going to make sure that we're saving this as a PNG file and we're going to remove the background and we're going to download this. And then to sell your design, how I do this to sell both on Etsy and Shopify is by using Printify who will print and ship all of my shirts for me so that I never have to do that myself. So on Printify, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to catalog, I'm gonna to go to t-shirts, and the ones that I would probably do for this is probably the Comfort Colors 1717, 1717, however you wanna say it, because it has a more vintage looking feel. It's got some different colors that look a little bit more washed out versus some of the other t-shirts as well, unless you wanted to go with some of the more distressed ones in here like this one here. It is more expensive, so for me, I would just be doing the Comfort Colors 1717. And one of my favorite suppliers is SwiftPod, though I'm also a big fan of Monster Digital. Sometimes their shipping is slower. So I usually go with SwiftPod and they have tons of colors and I'm gonna hit start designing. Now I see these types of designs usually look good on just the dark colors. So I'm gonna remove white. I'm gonna put pepper, black, and maybe like a dark brown if one's in here maybe a true navy actually yeah i'll probably just keep it those two and then probably espresso here and then i'm going to hit upload my device and we're going to bring in that png file that we had just saved from kittle and these designs usually take up most of the shirt so i'm going to bring this as big as i can here and then once i'm happy with the placement something i always do is make sure i look at the preview on printify just to see how this will fit when it's actually being worn so i can make a decision here if i want to make it smaller make it larger 
So I just go through these. I actually might make it a little bit smaller across the chest because the chest is a very big text. And there we go. And now we're going to save product and then you can publish it to your Etsy store or your Shopify store or anywhere that you plan to sell this. Also, here's my other work in progress for a design like this. I ain't ranch, but I be dressing. I was super proud to come up with that one. I don't know. I've heard it before somewhere. I just don't know where, but I thought this would fit into this theme perfectly. All right, guys, let me know if this is something you would use, something you're gonna make, something you actually find funny or if the humor just falls flat for you. Like for some people, I know it does. My fiance does not get these at all. I think they're hilarious, but let me know in the comments below and thank you guys for watching.